Hi everybody and uh, welcome back to uh, part two of the uh, tour of the ATSF Paradigm Division. In part one, if you remember, I gave you a lot of details about the uh, layout, uh, you know, type of bench work, track, power, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, plus a picture of the uh, home of the layout. Uh, in part two, we're going to go through the staging level but a little bit different type of detail. I'm going to give you an example of how the staging level functions in order to provide the trains that go uh, to and from the main level. Since most of my trains are transcontinental, both in the passenger train and freight train venue, um, the main place where we do switching on the main level is at Union Station. There are some local trains that do run uh, around the peninsula, uh, but uh, primarily I have transcontinental trains. And uh, they have the interchanges with the other railroads that you see up in here. Uh, behind me, I try to have a logo of all the trains up there. Uh, one of the things that I did in order to give me a, uh, if you want to call it a, a, a fairly realistic sequence of trains on the main level, is that for all the railroads that you see behind me up here on the wall, um, I did some research on schedules and timing in and out of Kansas City Union Station, which uh, in my, on my railroad, I call it uh, behind me over here. It's called just simply Union Station. I could not replicate the whole thing because I don't have the room to do it. Uh, but anyway, um, what transpired or came about after all the research was a 24-hour uh, schedule. Uh, so I was able to kind of place all the trains, be they passenger or freight for all the various railroads that you see behind me, and then broke them down into four six-hour segments. And so, for example, uh, you have uh, midnight to uh, 6 a.m. as an example. Uh, so what we're going to do in order to show you how the staging level functions to support the main level is I've picked the... Uh, Santa Fe's Grand Canyon train, which is number 23 and number 24. Uh, in the Santa Fe, uh, odd number trains were westbound and the even number trains were eastbound. So at Union Station, uh, as number 23, which is the westbound Grand Canyon, came from Chicago, uh, it would stop at Kansas City Union Station and they'd be broken into two. Uh, 23 would continue to Los Angeles, and then also 123, which was made up of some of the cars from 123, plus a few additions uh, from the uh, passenger car yard at uh, KCUS. And then that one would travel on what they called the northern route, which I can only loosely simulate on my peninsula. So. Uh, then they both basically both go down to staging and then return as the uh, eastbound trains 24 and 124. So I'm going to be using those two trains as the example of how the staging level functions. So hopefully it uh, will explain why the design came to be the way it is just a wee bit. If anybody has any questions, uh, at the end of the video, please uh, post them, ask them, or any comments would mo be greatly appreciated. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy part two of the layout tour. And uh, I know I got a lot of work to do in both scenery and building painting and such. And there are some buildings that are in the house being painted. There are some cars that, that are in there for decals. Uh, there's... Uh, vehicles that need to be painted and decaled uh, for various places around the layout. So a lot to do. 
Uh, it's a one-man operation, so and I take my time. I enjoy enjoy the hobby. So, but anyway, enjoy the tour, and we'll see you. Thank you very much. Bye. This picture shows a portion of the train sequence that is used on my layout. Please note that there is a total of 14 trains sequenced in the six-hour portion of the overall schedule at Union Station. If you will look at sequence numbers 7 and 9, you will see the trains that will be used as an example, namely the two sections of the Grand Canyon. As in part one, the logo will be moved to various parts of the staging level during the tour. Ready Tracks East is just below the East Helix and Union Station and is used to hold the next set of trains that are due to arrive in Union Station. This is Ready Tracks East. It would consist of three sidings and I only count two of the three for actual staging tracks because the third one sometimes can be left open if I want to do continuous run. But you'll notice there's a Missouri Pacific freight train. Just in front of that is a Santa Fe freight train. On the middle track is a Union Pacific freight train. And in the back where some of the cars off the rails is a Santa Fe passenger train. And 
you're going to be coming up on the beginning of the east helix where all the sidings come together. Staging yard A is under the center peninsula and uh, consists of 10 tracks, each with its own power cutoff. This is staging yard A. This is an overview and you're going to see some of the various trains. Some of these are Burlington Route or CB&Q. There's also some uh, there's a Milwaukee Road train in the back, then there's a uh, ATSF uh, tanker train, there's a Missouri Pacific in the foreground. Uh, the tracks are numbered 1 to 10 front to rear and you can see some of the switches in the fascia where uh, we can cut the power off. Once again the cards are used and to identify what the train is and sometimes the cards fall off the table and I put them back wrong. But uh, so that Missouri Pacific sta train is actually in St. Louis. Staging Yard B is also 10 tracks and is a mirror image of Staging Yard A. And it's just on the opposite side of the uh, lower part of the peninsula. This is Staging Yard B and you can see Staging Yard A uh, through the uh, number of 2x4s that hold up the uh, peninsula. It's uh, cantilevered basically over the top of the two staging yards. As you can see, this, this staging yard is primarily, if not all, trains are passenger trains. And uh, you can see the Union Pacific train and a foreground and everything else is Santa Fe. And uh, you'll see the uh, Grand Canyon pair of them there and uh, there's a chief and a super chief so and there's the beginning of the end of it right there this is ready tracks west it's basically a mirror image of ready tracks east it consists of three tracks and these are the trains to be prepared to go up the west helix to the main level here you see ready tracks west and there are three trains ready to go up uh, the Texas Chief, the GFX Fast Express, and the LXX Fast Express. So a passenger train, a refrigerator train, and a stock train. And uh, those are typically pretty much the uh, first trains that come on the layout after uh, midnight. So they'd be in the first six hours. And here we go. They're, they're fairly long. They're about the longest trains on the layout. They're about 20, 20 some odd cars. And uh, there you see the, uh, the end of it and some of the uh, lights that show the indications for the turnouts. There are a few things that help the staging level support the main level with the uh, movement of trains. First, you can see in this picture is the two reversing loops. One is coming down off the west helix as it goes into staging yard B in the lower right. The other is going from staging yard A over to ready tracks east. Now you couple that with all the different options where you're coming off a of staging yard A, you can you can loop around the staging yard B, you can go east to the to uh, ready tracks east or you can go west to ready tracks west and uh, that really makes this a very versatile setup in this in the staging level and uh, which is why it's designed the way it is here you see the two options coming out of uh, staging yard a you can go to uh, ready tracks west and to the west helix and there you see a view of the three trains that we showed you before. And then here in the foreground is the route that you take to go to Ready Tracks East for going up to Union Station. Here you see the same optional area but from the other side of the layout and the track in the foreground goes into staging yard B and the one in the back goes to Ray Tracks West.